going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Coach Jasper here back with another video and we are back with another workout video. I feel like I haven't done this in a very long time. I'm also really excited to do a commentary over the clips that we're about to watch. It's been so long since I did that, it's insane. So today we're gonna talk about my new workout routine. It is a full body routine. Mind blown, I know, same thing. I always said and always told people that I really don't like the full body routine thing. It just didn't work for me back then because I was also chasing the pump a little bit and I wanted to have the day after feel like, oh, I really trained my chest or I really trained my back. So I always had the assumption that if you did a full body routine that you couldn't really do that. But a good friend of mine actually recommended for me to do a full body split or to at least try it out for a couple weeks and I actually really liked it. So he told me a little bit about why he did that and what the benefits are for him and you know, things that I wanna improve on as my strength on uh, certain exercises. Um, that really helps with doing a full body workout. I'll talk a little bit more about that in the commentary. I broke it down a little bit for you guys. Uh, we're gonna watch one of the days of the full workout routine. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. Hopefully you learned something from that. A little update on the cutting thing. I stopped cutting officially, but I'm still really on the same weight as I was at the end of the cut, but then more flat and not eating well. I'm not really eating consistently. Um, so that's my bad. I'm not doing good on eating wise. So I have to really step up my game when it comes to eating and, and making sure I get back in the whole cooking routine and stuff like that. And also I am going to New York City on Monday for the ESL New York event. So I'm really excited to go to New York. Insane. I've been there once. Uh, by the way, look at this nice shirt from my protein. Pretty nice. Anyways, link in the description. Enjoy this video. I hope you guys learned something from it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Leave a like, subscribe, turn the notifications on if you don't want to miss a video. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you guys in the commentary. Deuces. Let's go. Let's get to this commentary, guys. It's been so long since I did this, so please bear with me. This is the first take I'm doing this. We started off energetic with the Kiki. Uh, so, anyways, let's just go over the full body routine. This is the day. Um, we are focusing on chest today. So, what I do is every day I focus on one muscle group or one compound exercise. So, for example, you have this day, which has the flat dumbbell presses. Then we have a day with squat and military presses. And uh, we switch between those. So, um, you do, you start off with two big compound movements. So for example, you do the dumbbell press flat and then after that you do another exercise, right? Same, and then, um, so after this one, after the dumbbell presses, I do the close grip pull-ups. Uh, on the other day for the squat and military press, we'll do wide grip pull-ups. So we do lats, a little bit more mid-back trap area. We switch that as well. So um, because I wanna gain a lot of mass on my chest because it's one of my weaker points. Chest and triceps, I feel like, are some of my weak points. I really want to improve that, so I'm really focusing on the dumbbell press. So I'm doing that twice a week, um, at least. And the squats, I'm doing once a week, and then the other day, I'll do a military press. My shoulders are okay right now. I'm fine with my shoulders. Um, but yeah, I am doing, as you can see, I'm putting on my little um, belt so I can do weighted pull-ups because, honestly, close grip ones, uh, are just too easy if you do it without weight for me. So um, honestly, it's just practice, by the way, guys. It, like really, it's really practice. Um, and as you guys notice, um, I switch between push, pull, and leg movements, right? I don't do two push exercise uh, after each other because obviously there will be a little bit of um, you know muscles and muscle groups that you will use on both exercises. You'll be little, you'll be a little bit fatigued. So we'll do a push one, then a pull one, and then right now we're gonna push. The tricep exercise. So we did chest, back, triceps as our first three exercises. And um, after that, we're gonna do another pull one, which is gonna be a bicep curl. Um, but everything like that, I switch it up between those because um, obviously don't wanna get fatigued too fast. Everything, I do three sets of eight repetitions. Everything for the upcoming 12 weeks, I will do three sets of eight repetitions, and I'm mainly focusing on getting more weight on the bars, or using more weight on dumbbells, squats, whatever I'm doing, every exercise I wanna do a little bit more every week. Now, not every week I'm gonna be like, I will be able to do more weight. For example, on a dumbbell press for chest, I was doing 34 kilograms. Um, I'm not sure if I could do 36 for all three sets next week, right? So I'll try to do two sets of 34 and then one set of 36. And then the week after, 
I might try th uh, two sets of three six and one set of three four. And you can progress by that way. We're, we'll keep the focus for progressive overload on weight. So not sets, not reps, but weight. Uh, because I really want to get stronger. As you guys see now, I am doing the easy bar curl. Um, great exercise, really good for the peak in the biceps. Then next exercise, is it going to be a cable side race or a um, cable dumbbell race? I switched up here and there because honestly, I do like to switch up my training routines from now and then because it just can get a little bit boring. Um, but I try to be as strict as possible, but obviously um, not everything is always, always possible. Sometimes things are in use or whatever, so you have to improvise. I will show you guys after uh, this clip that I do a little bit of a um, side raise superset with front raises um, to isolate the front and side delts. But um, front raises, I don't really emphasize that much in this training program because um, I al already do that a lot with chest. I do that with... Um, uh, my military presses, so I don't really feel like I need to do um, front raises uh, to isolate the front delts. And that, now I, I just wanted to try some muscle ups because I felt like I could do them and I could. So, really strange, but for some reason uh, it's just all momentum with um, with muscle ups. But anyways, this is the super that I'm talking about, the side raises. I do that uh, 8 reps for side and then front raises I do 20 reps because I do 10 reps overhand with a barbell and 10 reps underhand. You'll, uh, you'll show... Uh, it will show in a video right now. So you can see here overhand up until the, like the height of your shoulder. And then um, after that, you do another eight reps of the underhand grip. But anyways, so as I said, I'm doing eight total exercises in each training day, which has all the um, different muscle groups. We have chest, we have two back exercises for the lats and then for the trap area. Then you have shoulders, biceps, triceps, and then a leg exercise and then calves if I want to do that. Um, the leg exercises will always be there, but the thing is, I am playing soccer still on Sunday, so I really feel like I need to relax because I, I had soccer training yesterday and um, I feel my knee. So I don't want to overdo it so I can't combine the two and get injured. So I really need to figure out how I'm going to... Uh, get a good solution to take that on. But anyways, uh, that's it for training routine. I'll put it in the description down below if you want to, guys want to try this workout out. Uh, let, me guys, uh, let me know what you guys think about this workout and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Ciao!